Most people in America have the right to tell their story. There's actually storytelling festivals that have gone on for many, many years, and they probably continue. They continue all across America where people write a story, perfect it, and for the joy of sharing the story to create laughter, to create sadness, to create irony, to create anything, they go to storytelling festivals. Our challenge with COVID is that we're being told to be isolated. Now, there's some truth to that. There's some value in that to keep ourselves distant from people that we don't know well because civil war is coming. And civil war is already here if people are already stealing from other people, if people are already interfering with other people. And the little bitches who want to be in control over men fail themselves again and again. You don't become in control of a man by trying to solicit a man that's not interested. And you don't become in control of anyone because you think you're in control of someone. I've had many fat women try to solicit me, and the answer is no thank you. No offense. I have overweight women in my family, and I'm okay with that. But that was their choice, and they're allegedly well-loved by their husbands, and that's okay with that. But I have three girls that I'm interested in, and none of them are you. I've known two for more than ten years now, and openly one is relatively new. And she has an open mind, an open heart, and an open soul, so that's on you. At no time will I ever be one of those men that solicited someone or interacts with someone in any way, informally, on a visible mall block. That's just not me. Now, what will happen next? One of those little shits will come up and try to talk to me. The little girl who's been hacking me and spreading my information across the block doesn't realize I know who she is. You see, when you have prophetic gifts, you get the information. But what I'm waiting for is a law enforcement officer to do their fucking job on that child. Because cybercrime is still cybercrime. It's one of the biggest crimes of all time. And you'd rather fucking around with someone who's homeless than do your job today. Why is that? Because you want to learn how to do that so you can steal more for your family? So you can take someone's land? So you can take someone's property? So you can take someone's house? So you can take my girl? Good luck with that in front of God.